Here's our electric uh, pickup truck. We're going to be at CBC Radio this morning for the um, Run Your Car in Water technology at CBC Radio this, this morning. Here we are. We're at the CBC. We're walking around the hallways here and looking for our studio. CBC. Okay, off to Studio 31. Studio 31. I guess this must be this must be some kind of Hall of Fame over here. I got the Sheila Rogers and Turbo Kazan, Paul Grant. Anyway, this is what it looks like. You can contribute if you want. Oh, okay, no, it's it's, it's a videotape. So oh, okay, all right, go for it. Where am I? Where am I going? Right here, it's where okay. you are. You don't need Hi, Rob. To Hi. How are you? Hi, Steven. Hi, Steven. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. And it's Matthews, right? Yep. Very good. Thank you. I knew him. A human being. He was a kind, compassionate, thoughtful person. And uh, you know, if you, uh, if you how long is going to take? What's that? How long are we going to be? We don't have a ton of time. How long have we got budgeted for this item? I first uh, heard the news. I was devastated. Absolutely. Devastated. As long as it takes to cover the topic. Okay. It's usually like you know, five, six, seven minute kind of thing. Okay. How about a long interview? But okay. And we're going to go in just a second here. Okay. Can my sound okay? Do you need a sound shot? Here we go. Five seconds. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. And that is Attorney General Wally Opal sharing his memories of Bob Ackles. It's coming up on 17 minutes after 6 o'clock on the early edition. Well, while many people are looking for ways around high gas prices and the new carbon tax, one local group thinks that it may have an answer. The Vancouver Gadgeteers are hosting a hands-on workshop tonight on how cash-strapped car owners can mix oil with water to get their wheels turning. Rob Matthews is with the club, and he joins us in the studio. Good morning to you. Good morning, Stephen. Now, explain this to me. How does uh, water and oil become fuel for your car? Okay, basically you uh, install a hydrogen booster on your car, you electrolyze the water, and the resulting gas, which is a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, it's a patent gas called Brown's gas. You inject that into your airstream, and you um, can get anywhere from the 30 to 40 percent, in some cases double, and in some cases triple your gas mileage. So, for example, you could have a um, even a Toyota Prius uh, doing 75 miles to the gallon on a highway. Um, another easy one are like uh, Dodge Neons and Saturns. Um, the Saturns uh, usually go over 70 miles per gallon. And tell me about converting this. This is a difficult process installing this. It can be. Um, most of the cars will be fairly difficult, uh, di fairly difficult technically, unless you have an older vehicle. If you've got like a '92. Anything older than 1996, um, you don't have to defeat the um, sensors and the computers as much. So if you've got like an 80s uh, vehicle, a carbureted one, that's the best because that's a fairly easy job. Certain models are also do not do not require, a co you know, competing with the onboard ship. Okay. Now, uh, what does this all cost if I wanted to convert my car to this? Uh, we have one of our gadgeteers converted his um, vehicle, which is a scooter, uh, using only trash as a that was part of the exercise. So you can do it for uh, virtually picking up parts and trash if you wanted to, if you were so inclined. But technically, what do you have to do? You said install some sort of converter. Yes, you uh, you can make yourself a hydrogen booster, or you can buy one anywhere from uh, I'd say 100 bucks to um, 1,100 dollars, depending on where you buy it from, and. Um, you know, put it, turn your car into a water hybrid, essentially. Uh, where does the oil come from for this? When you're talking, are you talking about a, an actual mixture of gas and oil? No, no. It's uh, when we say oil, that's yeah. that we're referring to the petroleum that you're burning right now. Okay. Yeah. Now, the effect of this actually, I don't know if you ever have you ever driven through a fog in a highway. I have indeed. Have you? Do you if you have an onboard computer, like a mile, miles per gallon, uh -huh. you will notice that you're getting about 20 percent more mileage by simply driving through ground fog. That's essentially what is happening. Right, because the air intake is, ta is taking in the, the moisture, the water essentially from the air and mixing it with the fuel mixture. Correct. Okay. Except you're making it happen all the time. Uh, can this be good for your car? Why not? Well, uh, I'm always told to avoid getting water into my fuel line. 
Well, it's actually you can for six hundred bucks. There are ad aftermarket products mm -hmm. called misters, cool misters, that'll boost like small cars like the um, uh, Mini Coopers. They're very popular with Mini Cooper owners to to put in a ultrasound. They have an ultrasound chip that makes uh, water, you know, into a fog and is injected into the engine, and it gives them like high horsepower for a small car. So that's like you're making your own fog. In in this case, you're you're not actually putting in water. The water is being turned into two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. So you're putting in the gas. And that's what the con that's where the converter part comes in. Yeah. Um, how much does this save drivers in the long run? Well, there's a guy on uh, YouTube uh, who's from North Van. Mm -hmm. He has doubled his um, his mileage. Really? Um, and, and actually, he's saying that he's going 140 in the Coquihalla now. <laughs> so uh, after after that, he said, maybe you should black out my face when I say that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> there, there have been warnings issue. I mean, I talked about whether yeah. this is good for the car, but yeah. but I don't know that I would be comfortable, you know, doing this to my fairly new Honda Civic. I mean, how do you assure drivers that this is not going to destroy their vehicles? Um, I guess we've... Uh, you know, I have I have no idea how to assure them. This is I think what keeps people from doing this. Is, there are two reasons. There's a lot of inertia because we're not really this. Is, you know, we're not suffering as much as third world countries where the entire middle class is disappearing. They can't pay their internet bills. They can't put their kids to school. School isn't free in some countries. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we get to that stage, I'm sure things are going to happen like World War II. My uh, grandparents were running their gasolines on charcoal, mm -hmm. right? Um, so. You know, when things get desperate, I think uh, people will be looking at this and seeing that it's not that difficult. The people who have actually done it, they, they're actually they're they're mad at themselves because like I, you know I could have doubled my mileage like years ago, and, and now that they're running on 50% um, Brown's gas, they want to go all the way. It's like I'm going to go 100% now, so they want they're trying to go the, you know. Now, when you say people, people who have done this, you mentioned yes. somebody converting a scooter, but how, how many people have actually done this? Um, there are approximately, or at least 4,000 people a month converting their, um, in North America, converting their cars to bronze gas, to water hybrids. And you're running a workshop on this tonight. What are yep. people going to get out of the workshop? Is this a sort of how-to guide? Will you demonstrate how this is done? We're, we're doing yes. We're doing the hands-on part. We actually have two workshops. One's level one. One's level two. Um, the the most difficult part is people, I guess, can't get their hands on. So we're we're providing a hands-on workshop at two levels uh, tonight, and we're also showing some video clips on how people have done it, what they say about it. Rob, thanks yeah. for coming in. It's fascinating. I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Rob Matthews is with the Vancouver Gadgeteers. If you would like to attend tonight's workshop, you can call 604-739-7717. That's 604-739-7717. And now it's over to you. Would you consider converting your car to use this mixture of moisture and gasoline? Give us a call on our talkback line, 604-662-6690. 604-662-6690. Mm-hmm.